Hello, Crystal City Boat People. Some of you may have noticed the sign that is out front. It, it just says Mutual Radio as a microphone. And, and there's a, a, a little pin underneath it, a flare pin, where you can sign that. And we'd like you to do that. Uh, principally because you're parole officers, I suggest you that you be your sign-in sheet tonight for hanging work with known felons. Good group of folks. This network taught me the meaning of the word essential. Broadcasters are supposed to be on the air under any circumstances. That's why we have emergency generators. And so it came to pass that at one night in Crystal City, during my talk show, the power went out. And the generators kicked in. But as you may recall, the generators only kicked in in essential portions of the building. I had at that moment to call of nature. And I discovered that the men's room was not on the list of essential places. And as I stood there in the dark, I developed a rule of thumb. So to say. If you hear liquid hitting porcelain, you are on target. If you hear liquid hitting leather, you are off target. The things that we learned. There are some folks who are not here tonight. I would note uh, that uh, Ed Little is not here. I have uh, been getting some communications from Bob Moore, who said that uh, Ed owns a hot Jaguar. Someone sold him in Latin America. He's trying to get shipped back to the U.S., but he does not have title to the vehicle. My guess is he will trade out for that title. <laughs> I heard that Ed at one point owned a minor league baseball team, but I can't vouch for that. Uh, Jack Clements wanted to be here. Jack, unfortunately, who is now 80, developed uh, growths on his vocal cords. He's undergoing chemotherapy and cannot be here tonight. But uh, he sounds optimistic in his emails. Dan Ronan is now a spokesman for the AAA in Texas and New Mexico, and Ike has him preoccupied this evening. Uh, also, you'll notice the memorabilia back here, some wonderful things. Please still look and enjoy. Uh, please leave where you found it, because I think most of these folks would like it back. Uh, there's some great things back here. And uh, at this point, I'd like to introduce some of the other folks who are going to be talking to you tonight. The senior person at Mutual Radio Westwood One was and always will be Dick Rossé. Some of you... <laughs> One of the great wordsmiths of our time, as some of you may know, Dick covered both the erection and dismantling of the Berlin Wall for the same network. Uh, some of you may not know that Dick also covered the erection and dismantling of the Wall of Jericho and the erection of the Great Wall of China. If it ever comes down, he is available to cover that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dick Rossay.